Hi everyone, welcome to another video in my series of ammunition reloading and uh, case preparation, uh, particularly because it's on the cheap. Uh, this time uh, I'm going to show you how I run through my very basic cleaning process. I found a product called uh, Barkeeper's Friend. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, citric acid in it. Uh, I've read recipes where people have used citric acid only, but one of the things it says here, it's you know, it's good for good for brass. So I thought I'd try it uh, because I had I had tried citric acid before with a, a little bit of detergent and it had come up okay, but I found the barkeeper's friend came up that little bit better. And all I do is get an old container and scientifically measure out a little bit of this uh, barkeeper's friend a little bit of detergent uh, water boiling water I mean you could probably get away with this hot water out of the tap but I prefer boiling water and you know, I've got a handful of rounds that I'm going to to drop in, all right, drop them in uh, and stir it up. Now, I mean, that's only been in for what 30 seconds, but it is hot. That was, that's how the round looks now, and that's one that hadn't gone in. Then, I set it aside for an hour, and then come back and rinse them out. So, here's some that I did a little while ago, about uh, 90 minutes. And you can see, you know, they've come up reasonably well. Uh, you are never, you are never going to get the mirror gloss or uh, the, the polished look that you will with either wet or dry tumbling. And then all I do is I give them a, a good rinse out. and then put a bit of water in the sink. And you can see, well hopefully, the light's good enough. And the primer pockets, primer pockets, you know, pretty clean already but sometimes and you know, they don't clean out that well all the time and I just get the Lee primer pocket uh, cleaner just give it a little scrub like that rinse it out and then you know, I won't dry them individually I'll put them in a you know, a towel, rub them, you know, dry, then I'll, depending how warm the weather is, I'll either sit them outside in the sun for a day or so, but if you're middle of winter and it's cold and dreary and a bit wet, then I'll put them on an oven tray and set it to about 100 degrees Celsius and uh, dry the rounds out that way. Right, so that's it after an hour of sitting in a bit of detergent and barkeeper's friend and you know, here's the round that hadn't gone in so I'm pretty happy with that result 
it's good enough for me to see whether there's any faults with the case uh, you know if there's any pressure issues or uh, issues with the neck or uh, you know, case starting to split or separate cleans out the pockets does I can't really see but it does a pretty good job inside the case and uh, this well you probably get it cheaper you know, depending on where you live but it's about eight dollars Australian in the supermarkets here and a little bit of you know, ordinary dishwashing detergent and that does the job for me so if you've got any uh, questions or you found another uh, home brew method that you like or you think that works uh, let me know and I'll be happy to, to try that out as well. Okay, thank you for watching.